five at five. This is eight news now. A lot of questions stirring about what led to DeMar Hamlin's collapse as he continues treatment tonight in a Cincinnati hospital. Head cardiologist for the Raiders, Dr. Alfred Danielian, is here live in studio to talk more about what might have happened on the field last night. Doctor, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Cardiac arrest, heartbeat restored on the field. Talk briefly, if you would, about the importance of that speedy response. I think that's of utmost importance. Mm -hmm. um, the medical staff was phenomenal. They recognized it immediately. They activated the emergency medical services. They started early CPR and early defibrillation. Now, nothing is definitive yet about what has happened here, but there is a lot of talk about heart arrhythmia that occurs when someone takes that direct hit to their chest. Uh, is, is that something that can be determined in time? Uh, we think about the amount of hits in the NFL and the chest protection. You would think that would, would not be the case. Is it something we have to wait a little bit of time to determine that? Absolutely correct. We have to wait. First and foremost is a period of stabilization okay. of keeping him on, on something called a hypothermia protocol where the body's cooled to allow the organs to rest and recover during the recovery and rewarming phase. After that, you know, starts the diagnostic kind of approach. And so there'll be a set of diagnostic tests that'll be done. This term of commodia cordis that's well established out there in, um, that's put out there constantly. People are talking about this. They want to know about this blunt trauma to the chest that may have, you know, led to his cardiac arrest is, is a real factor, but it's more of a diagnosis of exclusion. It is a diagnosis where we have to really rule out underlying inheritable genetic conditions first and foremost before we can say this was it. And in terms of the concern, the, the minutes where his heart rhythm before it returned, that lack of, of blood, the, there obviously potentially sadly could be damage to the brain. Is that what the cooling is essentially for? Exactly. That's what the cooling process okay. is for during that life-threatening arrhythmia that he faced with a lack of blood flow to his brain, his heart, and the rest of his organs. Okay, we're going to get more into possibly if there was a likelihood of a pre-existing condition in this situation. But again, you pointed out the speedy response there. They were on the field administering CPR within 10 seconds. That was exactly what exactly. was Exactly. Okay, doctor, thanks so much for your time. We're going to have his medical expertise again in your 6 p.m. newscast. Now we're going to send it back over to Denise.